what hematological processes occur in treatment failure? So in order to answer that question, I suppose, the best way to think about this is to think about the, the uh, failure pattern. So if we're thinking about someone who develops a relapse, okay, so if you remember, I was talking about induction failure versus someone who may have re uh, responded initially and then relapsed. So clearly the clinical picture there differs. So in general, and again, that gives me an opportunity to sort of quickly describe how do we treat patients from the get-go. I already talked about induction. So patients will have a chemotherapy, then a bone marrow biopsy on day 14, and the hope is to have an empty marrow, after which the, um, there is restoration of the hematological parameters. Um, if there isn't restoration of hematological parameters, if there isn't normalization, of the blood parameters, then there is a concern that perhaps there is um, primary resistance here and perhaps there is um, a notion that there's a treatment failure. So anytime I'm dealing with a patient in whom there is not only just the presence of less in the peripheral blood, because this is a frank um, reminder that maybe this leukemia has recurred, but also when there is recurrence of um, uh, low blood counts, which may have already been the reason for the diagnosis of this leukemia, then I am thinking this leukemia perhaps is back. Similarly, if the patient presented with low counts, we treated them, and those low counts do not improve with treatment, then there's also a concern that this is a feature of treatment failure. And of course, every time you are thinking about this, the only way, unfortunately, even we are in the 21st century, is by performing a bone marrow biopsy. Naturally, if you find less in the preferred blood, then you um, clearly think this is relapse disease, but you still have to prove this by performing a bone marrow biopsy. So um, the hematological processes mean that you have um, recurrence of the cytopenias, the anemia, the neutropenia, the low platelets that may have manifested when the patient initially presented. Um, a, a coupled by the presence of blast. Now, some patients may present with what we call extra medullary disease, meaning skin lesions, uh, perhaps CNS disease. Uh, uh, so that sometimes can be the way they may present with. Um, and that would be some of the things that would go in my mind if I see a patient who presents as such. <laughs> 